What's up, guys? It's MV Boxing. I just finished up watching Joe Joyce versus Christian Hammer. And this was a 12-rounder in the heavyweight division. And this fight was Saturday, July 2nd from the OVO Arena in London, England. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN Plus in the United States and in BT Sport in the UK. And in this fight, Joe Joyce was able to get a fourth round of stoppage victory over Christian Hammer. So leading up to the stoppage, I had this bout scored 29-27 to in favor of Joe Joyce. So this fight was... Uh, a very impressive win for Joe Joyce, but I mean, I was also unimpressed with Joe Joyce's defense, um, as really just always in his fights, he likes to come forward with his sort of hands down, or hands away from his head, really, to sort of up. He does, have a, he does have a high guard, but not really a good defensive guard when it comes to blocking. I mean, he really just eats all of his shots. As in round one, I did give to Christian Hammer, because Hammer was on the ropes with Joyce coming forward, but he was able to land two massive right hands on the chin of Joyce. I'm shocked that Joyce took them, even though we know he has a good chin. I mean, they were just perfectly flush shots on um, Joyce's chin that he just ate like nothing. And Hammer is not a fighter with no power. He does have power himself, so I was just shocked at how easily um, the Juggernaut was able to take those shots. But, I mean, he did stay true to his nickname as the Juggernaut, obviously, as he kept coming forward, throwing punches, and it led to him getting the stoppage win. As in round number two, it seemed like Joe Joyce had some more openings that gave him that round pretty easily. He started just breaking down Hammer, even though it was only round two, he was going to the body a bit more, just really just finding openings and landing shots where he could. And in round number three, the same thing was happening, except at the end of round three, Joyce dropped him with a right hand to the head. Seemed like it was could have been behind the head, but um, Hammer nonetheless went down, could have been at the top of the head, referee called it a knockdown. And then in round number four, um, Joe Joyce came out, landed a big right hand, uh, I believe it was to the body, or yeah, it was a right hand to the body, sent uh, Hammer down on one knee, Hammer got back up, but he was still stunned. Joyce came forward, was throwing head combinations because Hammer was focused on covering up the body. Hammer took a knee again, he got back up, and then Joe, Joe Joyce finished him with a brutal body shot, and the referee waved it off as he should. So um, this was a very impressive win for Joe Joyce, considering that Hammer hasn't been stopped, hasn't really been stopped. I know he got stopped by Huey Fury in the fifth round, but that was because of a shoulder injury. So this was the first time that Hammer's really been stopped since fighting Tyson Fury and getting stopped uh, or losing by corner stop in round eight. Um, so, um, yeah, this was actually an impressive win for Joe Joyce, but also it did show a lot of flaws that he does need to continue working on, mainly his defense, his offense. He's a very good fighter, has a good gas tank, loves to come forward, and has great power, but, I mean, his defense, if he's getting hit like by guys like Joshua or Wilder with heavy power, I mean, we don't know how he could take those shots. Uh, even though we saw him eating shots from Daniel Dubois, who's a big, heavy puncher, I mean, we could get to see, uh, or we will see soon when he starts fighting these top five guys, how he will be able to take those guys' shots as opposed to someone into the top 15 or lower. So this goes in the question, what is next for Joe Joyce? He was initially supposed to face Joseph Parker on this date. I can't really remember the exact reason why Parker wasn't able to do it, but, um... I think they're definitely going to be able to fight for the interim title or the interim WBO title. Um, the fight could be in September, October, somewhere around there, early fall or at the end of summer. Uh, could be around there. You could fight Joseph Parker for that interim title. Another um, fight that could be next for him could be Frank Sanchez. He is also a top WBO contender, but most likely his next opponent will be Joseph Parker for that interim WBO heavyweight world title. But as for Christian Hammer, losing here for the 10th time, 5th by stoppage. So I think in his next fight, he'll take on some lower-level opponents in Germany before getting called up again and facing a top 10, top 15 heavyweight who needs just sort of a quick comeback fight that'll be an easy victory. So overall, Joe Joyce drops Christian Hammer multiple times, ultimately getting a 4th round stoppage victory to improve his record to 14-0 with 13 knockouts. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.